So lining stuff up on your diode laser can be really hit and miss at times. So I'm going to show you how I set up a camera on mine so I know exactly where I'm going to be cutting so there's no more guesswork. And a company called Comgro sent me this along with an enclosure and we'll check out that enclosure later in the video. And this camera module is a very simple setup. It's basically just an aluminum arm that mounts to your laser and has a camera on it. And the interesting thing about this setup is it's not only for their laser. It's pretty much a universal setup. But anyways, here's all the parts out of the box. And as you can see, there's really not much to it. And I thought it'd be fitting to try it out on their own laser engraver to see how it works. And if you were wondering, this is the board with the camera on it. And I'm not going to waste your time showing me putting it all together. The instructions are very detailed and very simple to follow. So here it is all done. And I do think that this aluminum arm is kind of overkill for holding this. But then again, it's sturdy enough that you never have to worry about it breaking. And it's also strong enough that you can just pick up the entire machine with this arm. You can also see that it makes the machine a lot taller than it used to be. And I'll have to deal with that later, but for now, I need to set up the actual camera. And this is detailed in the descriptions, basically showing you how to set it up in Lightburn. And to sum it up, you just tell it to engrave a couple things, align some stuff, and you're good to go. And with all of that done, I can now see exactly where I want to be cutting and have it hit the exact spot every time. So as you can see, this makes things a lot easier. And I wanted to test it out and see if it would fit on the X tool, and it does with no modifications needed to the frame at all, it just kind of clamps on. But now let's talk about the enclosure for this. Seeing that it's so tall now, you can't use the ones that are designed for the diode lasers. And that includes the small one from Comgro. So their solution to this is to use one of the larger 3D printer enclosures. And that's exactly what I have right here. And this is basically a glorified flame resistant tent. And there's a bunch of metal rods that make up the frame. And as I put the frame together, I'm realizing this is going to be absolutely massive. And yeah, this thing is pretty big. And this is their medium sized one. So they have one bigger than this as well. But hey, the entire laser fits in here and it doesn't rub up against the sides, so you have ample room. And if you look near the back, there's an exhaust port that you can attach to either side of this. There's also a cord pass through that goes up to a light that actually came with this. And there's actually a lot of pass through points for why wires, hoses, or just entire panels that open, so you can reach inside. But if you zip up the front, the whole thing is completely enclosed. And being fully enclosed, all your smoke will stay in here, and if you have it hooked up to an exhaust system, you can push it all outside or through some filtering. But like I said before, this enclosure is meant for 3D printers and not lasers. And the plastic on this is just clear, and isn't going to protect your eyes from the bright laser, like the enclosures that are made for lasers. So just keep that in mind. And honestly, this is a really cheap enclosure if you're looking for one for a 3D printer, especially if you're using a resin printer that doesn't seal very well, like this one, which also has a flip up top, and this enclosure is big enough to actually open it all the way. So if you are interested in getting this camera set up, the mount and camera itself are about $100, and if you wanted to get it with the enclosure, it's about $180. That being said, I found the enclosure on Amazon for only $42 by itself, and I'll have links to everything in the description below so it's easier for you to find. So let me know what you think of this camera setup, and if you think this would be something that would come in handy for your diode laser. Well thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!